Hello everyone and welcome to our Back to the Dirt Life. In today's video, we will be getting into this glueless MCAP 9x6 wig install. I'm super excited to be getting back into these. And before we get into it, I want to give a huge thank you to IC Hair for sponsoring today's video. We'll be doing an unboxing and then we're going to see just how glueless, just how effortless this unit really is. Is it as easy as it claims to be? So let's get straight into it. First of all, the packaging. The wig girlies have really stepped it up. It's a whole shopping bag for real. So once we get into our shopping bag, we have our box. Once I got this in the mail and I started trying to unbox it on the low to get a sneak peek, I knew I was gonna have to wait and do it on camera with y'all because top tier. And once it's done, it's done. So let's remove the seal. So first things first, we have our unit and we'll get back into that in a second. And then they also include this bonnet and it's pretty big so you can tell it fits a little bit of whatever under there. And then inside the bonnet, they include your literature, the MCAP technology information. We have ourselves a HD wig cap. I've been wanting to try one of these. We won't be using it today. I'll explain why in a little. And then we have our standard wig cap as well. Ooh. Next we have some lashes. If you're watching this video, chances are you wear or buy wigs and you know those lashes are usually stiff and immediately trash ready, like stiff plastic. First of all, they sent six pair. And secondly, it's actually given mink. A little longer than my liking, but hey, for the girls that like long lashes, you'll love it here. And then they also include this accessories envelope and it comes with an additional band. And this one has the grips on it, which is nice. And then it comes with three, ex three extra combs just in case you need added security to your unit. So now let's get into the unit. The knots are tiny, as they said, is pre-plucked even along the hairline and the lace is pre-cut. It comes in a natural brown color. I got 180 density because it's the middle of summertime. We don't need 200% density on our head right now. At least I don't. I got 24 inches straight. The density is pretty consistent from root to ends, which I like that. The ends are not skin, but we'll see how it looks once we actually put it on. Usually when I hear that the lace is pre-cut, I feel like I still need to go in and do a little bit of fine tuning. The knots are also pre-bleached, which is a lifesaver because you don't have to go in and do that. And they're actually pre-bleached. A lot of lace companies say that they come pre-bleached and then you get it and it's still a bunch of black knots, but these look really, really good. And like I said, the knots actually are tiny and the hairline actually looks pre-plucked. Being a cosmetologist that also sells hair, I've learned not to trust when a seller just says, oh, tiny knots, pre-bleached, pre-plucked. But I see hair, y'all said what y'all said and meant every word. And then as far as the cap construction, there's this big red band that is adjustable. And then they have removable combs on the interior as well. Oh, I need mine, so I'm not gonna take them out, but you could just slide them out. Wow, okay. That is really impressive. Wig technology is stepping it up. Okay, now for my foundation. As I said, I'm not gonna use my HD cap. Normally I would do a ball cap method even if I'm doing a glueless wig. But the whole theme, the whole point of the IC glueless wigs is for it to be easy, throw on. Even when I was behind the chair, I would do my client's wig installs in a way that through the lace, you're seeing their scalp because it just gives a natural look. I know a lot of people when they're not doing a full braid down, they just slick their hair straight back. But what I'm gonna do is give myself a middle part since I'm doing a middle part in my wig and line the wig's middle part up with mine so that what's shining through is my actual scalp. And that's the other part. Since I have a silk press that is getting old, I'm just gonna slick it straight back into a bun after I get my middle part. I really dislike when people just throw on the wig and don't show the foundation. So here's my foundation. Slick that right on back. If you're doing a similar foundation and you're worried about how that back piece will lay, then you can do it in two braids and bring the braids up for a flatter foundation, but this works fine for me. And then to make my lace match my scalp as best as it can, these are the palettes that I like to use, the Ruby Kisses Contour Cream. I've already hit pan on the one that matches me best, but I'm gonna hit it some more. And once that's done for, I'm gonna just go to one that's a little darker because I have gotten tan. And you just flip the cap inside out and put that all over. The part that matters the most, if you're not gonna be doing extra like parting, is the middle part and then right on that front hairline. Especially if you're trying to be modest on the amount of product that you're using. And then from there, I'm just gonna throw her on. All right, so this is straight out of the package. 
no nothing done to it i am going to clean up my part because i don't like how it looks and i also need to line it up a little better and then just to get it laying as flat as possible i'm gonna go in with my mousse a little bit of water and then i'm gonna blow dry it And then from there, I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and my wax stick because we need this ultra flat. And then next, I'm just gonna go through and clean up my part. I'm gonna widen it with some tweezers and then I'm gonna clean up the parting space with my black spray. Granted, can you wear this straight out the box like this? Yes. Am I going to do that? No. I also don't like when my bust down wigs just go straight. Like I need face framing. So I'm a face frame here, clean up my part and then she'll be good to go. I also thought I was gonna grow up and not do baby hairs, but I think I'm gonna do baby hairs because I just need a little extra, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back. to mind some i'm just not a smack your wig on top of your head and go kind of grow can you do that with this wig absolutely you can do anything you could do it with any wig would i recommend that you take this out of the box and smack it on without doing any type of tweaking absolutely not is it very beginner friendly and easy to install 100 percent. if you're newly getting into wigs or if you want something that's very low maintenance this is a great option you don't have to plug, you don't have to bleach, but doing those extra things like laying it down, adding baby hairs if that's the look that you're going for, putting a little makeup on the inside of the cap, I do think that those things are necessary in order to achieve a look that is similar to this. Once we get it together, once you get it together, it's gonna give this, and I didn't even spray the part yet. I'm gonna do that on camera too. I don't want it that thin now, hold up. Let's go like here. just to clean it up even more. And then as you saw, I added light face frame and layers just so that it's not all one length. I am 5'5", five five, this is 24 inches and it comes down pretty long on me. As far as how this hair looks and feels, it feels super soft. It has not tangled. It is not shedding when I'm running my fingers through it and I've cut it and it's still not having any pieces that are coming out when I'm running my fingers through it. I love that it's lightweight. The 180 density works for the summertime and the lace is super thin. It's easy to lay. The knots are almost invisible. I love that about this wig. If you want to give that straight sleek look on a budget and also with ease with just doing a few steps then Icy Hair is a great way to go. The MCAP technology is 10 out of 10. I love that it has a 9 by 6 lace so you're not limited to like here to here, here to here. Like it gives you a lot of parting space options. And that's super dope. I am gonna try to style it in a few different ways in a second, so you'll see that as well. Let's see how versatile it is as far as styling. Peace out. One thing about that red band, it's gonna show, so you gotta be careful with that. And also, not so much on the pulling up, but you can pull it away from your face as long as you're keeping it low and be just fine. Like if you want to do a pullback or a claw clip, you could do that. And of course I would do my sideburns because those would then be showing. There's also always the option for a low pony or a low bun or even a braid. And then because you have nine by six inches of parting space altogether, you can switch this to a side part. Me personally, whenever I'm doing my side parts, I like more of a curved part. And because of the way I did my foundation, I would have to do that from the start intentionally but you do have that option. Nine by six parting space is amazing because it's not the ear to ear maintenance and install timing of a frontal, but the versatility and the options are there. Let me do a close up. So y'all can see Icy did not come to play with y'all. 
Here is the final look. I did go in back with my Ruby Kisses once more in a small makeup brush and I just tap the top of the lace with the makeup color that matches my skin tone just to get things to blend even more. But overall, the wig is not glued down. I put a little bit of spray, melted it some right in that front parting, but overall it is not glued down. I can take this off tonight and be good to go. It's laying nice and flat and it's doing what needs to be done. So if you're looking for a great glueless wig, especially if you're a beginner or you do not have much time and you want minimal effort in styling and preparation, then I see hair is the way to go. All of the information will be linked in the description box below. So be sure to check them out. Once again, this is 24 inches straight, 180 density, it did not have a smell. I'm able to wear it straight out of the box. And I'll be looking forward to trying more wigs and more hair with IC hair in the future. If this was your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can come back for future hair tutorials, future hair videos. And I will see you all then. Later.